What's going on guys, John Elder here from CodingView.com and in this video, we wanna clean up our search results for our app with Flask and Python. All right guys, like I said, in this video, we wanna clean up our search results a little bit, but before we get started, if you like this video, wanna see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodingView.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off memberships, all my courses, videos, and books. Runtime fee is just $49, which is insanely cheap and going up soon, so check that out now. Okay, well, like I said, in this video, we wanna clean up our search results page, make it look more like this. If you remember back when we created the search results, it just listed a list of links and that's not that great. And also, if we search for something that's not listed, we want a little message saying, hey, that didn't appear. We don't have that yet. So let's head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to all the videos in this Flask playlist. So check that out if you haven't so far. So this shouldn't take very long, not much to do here, but you know, we probably wanna get this cleared away before we move on. So if we head over to hello.py and control F to search, and I'm just gonna search for the word search. And you remember when we set up our search, we did a couple of things. We set up this context processor so that we could run a search from our nav bar. If you didn't see that video, check the playlist. It's, it's a good one. And then if we search again, here's our actual search function. And you remember we're querying the database and then, you know, passing in whatever we searched for and then filtering it by, you know, all this stuff and then returning that and outputting it onto the screen. So if we come over to our templates and look at our search.html page, this is all we've got. So it just says you searched for and then says it on the screen and then it does a link thing. So if I come back here and reload to the way this originally was, let me log in here and then go to post. And so let's just search first by John. It just says you search John and then nothing appears. If we, if we search for test, you know, it says you search for test. And then there's just a list of these links and that's not great either. And I don't like how this is output. So first let's change this around to make this all one line. That's an easy fix. We could just come up here and grab this thing. And here we can go colon like that. I think that'll probably look a little nicer. Let's go ahead and save this and head back over here and hit reload just to see. Yeah, you search for test. I like that better. Maybe we'll put some emphasis there if we want, you know, just to really kind of make it stand out. So I use the EM tag in old HTML. This was the italics tag, but now it's uh, EM. So closing, opening and closing EM tag. If we save this, head back over here, hit refresh. Now it's, you know, italicized a little bit. Okay, I kind of like that. Now, what if we search for something that doesn't appear? Nothing happened. So that's stupid. <laughs> I don't know why we did that. So let's just come up here and let's say if posts, right? If there are posts, we want to do this. And we can come down here and say else, we can do something else. And right away, before I forget, let's end our if, because I always forget. So inside of here, we can do anything we want. So we can say, sorry, uh, your search term. And then let's come back up here and copy this thing. But here, maybe I wanna make it bold, so I'll put strong. Here we go. Was not found, dot, dot, dot. Okay, so that looks a little ugly, but it should work. <laughs> Let's head back over here, hit refresh. Sorry, your search term John was not found. And if you wanted to put another search box underneath here and a little message that says search again, or whatever, you could go ahead and do that. We'll just leave it like that for now. So now let's search for tests. We've got three posts here. Those look terrible. I kind of want this to look like our post page, right? I just want them to be output like this. So that's easy. We could just copy that code. So let's head over to our posts page. Here it is, posts.html, not to be confused with post.html. And we can come through here and here's where we're outputting those things for post and post. And it's just all of this code. So I'm just gonna copy all this code because it's the same stuff. So we can just copy this, head back over here, and inside of here, instead of these little links here, I'm gonna get rid of that and paste in all that code. So let's go ahead and save this, head back over here, hit reload, boom, just like that, much better, right? So we can edit the post if we're the author, we can delete the post if we're the author, we can click here to view the post, right? Or we can click here to view the post, that looks nice. 
You can notice here, this is Tim's post. We're not the owner of this post, so these buttons don't appear, the edit or the delete button. So I can't edit or delete that because I'm not Tim. <laughs> I didn't make that post. I mean, I technically am. I'm technically everybody here, but you know, you know what I mean? So, okay, just like that, done. So you can play around with this, make it look as nice as you want, do anything you want, you know, style wise. I kind of like the look of this, so we're just gonna keep it like this and just that easy. So that's all for this video. If you'd like to be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and check out Kodomi.com where you can use coupon code YouTube one to get $30 off memberships. They pay just $49 to access all my courses, over 47 courses, hundreds of videos and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students learn to code just like you. My name is John Elder from Kodomi.com and I'll see you in the next video.